Hi everyone, and welcome to today's demonstration where we're going to take a look at the white source command line interface. It's a lightweight application, which you can easily download and install, and you can run it against any local applications on your Linux, Windows, or Mac device. There's no prerequisites, so it's very easy and lightweight to set up. And once the scan is complete, we can then take a look at the known vulnerabilities in the application, and also the licenses which are consumed within that application. My name is Luke Bergen, and I'm one of the solution engineers here at Whitesource. So first of all, I'm just gonna escape PowerPoint and head straight over to a browser where we can take a look at the Whitesource uh, technical wiki pages. Here we have an entry for the Whitesource CLI application, and we have pretty much all the information we need to get started and take a look at the application in more detail. If I scroll down, we have a list of all the supported platforms. And today we're going to use the Windows platform just to curl down the application listed in this command here. To do that, I'm going to go with PowerShell, paste in the command, and you can see the output requirement is C drive, white source CLI. So if we just head over to File Explorer, I've already created these two folders from the C drive, and you can see the folder is currently empty. If we minimize that and go ahead and execute uh, this command, that will then download the executable. And the next step really is just to set the path variable for this environment. So if we just press the Windows icon in the bottom left, type in path, environment variables. We can double click on any one of these. We can expand this window out. And right at the bottom, we can see we've just added a new entry just with that file path in the environment variable. We can then click OK on all three windows, close down your current session of PowerShell, launch PowerShell again, and now we can just type in WS, where the command line will now interpret that and run the white source executable. We're going to full screen. And just before we can go ahead and scan an application, we just need to run WS configure. We need to select our environment. That can be found very easily by going to your sign on page and taking a look at the environment in the URL here. So I'm currently using SAS EU. For that, we'll go ahead and press option number two. Next, we need a user key, which can be found under your profile in the top right. Scroll down. We can see I currently have no user keys, so we can go ahead and generate a new one. We can copy that straight to our clipboard and paste it into PowerShell. Press enter. Next, we require the org API key. Just a quick note, you do need to be an administrator to get this because it will require you to head over to the integrate menu item at the top. We can press obviously on integrate, go ahead and copy the API key again using the copy icon, head over to PowerShell and paste the org key in. Automatic download will mean it will check for newer versions when you run the tool. So that's pretty helpful. So we'll go ahead and click yes on that. Uh, now what we can do is go ahead and run this application. Um, so if I just go into my data uh, source directory, we can take a look at some example applications we have listed here. I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, NodeGoat. And all we need to do is press uh, WS scan. And then the localized scan will take place for this application. Some other useful, interesting use cases for this is to run this in an IDE. Lots of IDEs allow you to run external tools. So you can use the white source CLI as an external tool uh, with localized variables to scan that application environment. So just scrolling up to the top, We've discovered 380 dependencies for NodeGoat, which is a vulnerable Node.js application. We've 
specified that in CVSS scoring, so high, medium, and low severities. We've published all of the vulnerabilities which were discovered, as well as the remediation and the CVE identifiers. If we scroll down, we can see the localized paths of those dependencies and open source components. Finally, at the bottom, we've also displayed the license types which have been discovered in this application. And of course, if you need more reports or you would like to send this data directly to the white source dashboard, there are arguments within the application where we can do this. So that's been a quick demo of the white source CLI. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers. Bye-bye.